Well, hello, Zodex. My name is King Wopal. Welcome back to Lies of P. First and foremost, my apologies for uh, the last episode not having any game audio. I don't know what happened. Um, I did buy new speakers for my computer because uh, the old ones I had weren't loud enough when I was just chilling in my room watching TV at the end of the day. Um, so I bought new speakers, and I think it's because I changed the speakers so my default, like, Chrome setting changed. Um, but everything else I recorded that day had game audio, so I don't know what happened. So hopefully that's fixed for this episode. If not, then you won't be seeing this, and uh, you'll be seeing whatever happens uh, in 30 minutes from now. Uh, but regardless, <laughs> welcome back to Liza P. We took down Victor, Manus was like, hey, hi, I'm Manus, and everything sucks. And I was like, oh, man, that's that really sucks. And now we're moving on. We gave a cure to, uh, old lady. Old lady make old. And now we have to talk to these dimwits. Ciao, Bello. It seems you and I share a strong connection. Sure. Uh. Talking to an alchemist is like talking to a brick wall. That's also an alchemist. Okay, rude. Brother, you should say hello to your friend. But it is true that we are in something of a bind. We're going to need to consult with our old friend. Sure. You got that right, sister. Our pal is sure to help us. We didn't behave that badly at his last shindig. I hope you abandoned me. A moment, please. My young brother here is slowly but surely losing his very sight. His He's going blind? Good. He's an asshole. Terrible, slow-working illness. That is why I seek the gold coin fruit. It's set to work miracles. And do I ever need one? Okay, I got like ten. The alchemists give us just enough to keep him going, but not enough to cure. And never what they promised. We can't rely on those crucible-kissing wizards. Please, don't make me beg. He needs this. Besides, for a fellow who raided the Black Rabbit Brotherhood's den and walked out in one piece, it'll be as easy as eating your weight in bomboloni. What is bomboloni? Please, the gold coin fruit is the only thing that helps. Are you there? Can, can you hear me? Please. Fine, here oh, you go. You were a true friend and generous. That's right. I liked you from the start, you know. Just had a feeling. If you felt otherwise, that wasn't me. <laughs> Ignore this one. When he gets excited or just feels happy, he gets chatty. But he really is grateful. We both are. Can't wait to fight both of you. That note, I hate to borrow and run, but we have another request from the alchemist to take care of, so we will be staying behind. You'll need to go on without us. So, I suppose this is farewell. I won't ever forget your kindness. Here, a small token, but it's a gift from the heart. Is it pancakes? Now go. I could really use. A oh, a new. Okay, so I got bag and I got a new. Uh, a new record to play. Honestly, Sweet. I didn't really expect you to bring us a damn thing, and yet. Okay. Honestly, didn't you? Weren't honestly. you gonna sell me books? Weren't you gonna sell me like forbidden books? Is that just a one-time thing? You're an alchemist. Is he? No, he's not. He's just an inventor. Never mind. I'm dumb. Okay, what is that? Portinella. That's where Alodoro is, so we need to go there anyway.
All right, well, does this take me to the Baron Swamp? Because that's where I need to go anywhere, because Alidoro's there somewhere. Eugenia gave me something to give him. Also, I have an Ergo. I need him. To, I need to look at my weapon choices. Weapon or uh, uh, amulet choices. I also need more quartz. Okay, Baron Swamp Tram Station, evening after the rain. Okay, that's terrifying. Just that camera angle with him sticking out of the, uh, out of the trash can. A dumpster. This month's attraction, Baron Swamp, with the issue of Vanini's Guide, we like to introduce a special place different from previously featured attractions. We don't mean special in a good way, of course. It may cater to a few people with particular peculiar tastes, but if you're an adventurer who wants to know about Krat, it's worth learning about its shadows, and that dense Baron Swamp is the area showcase Krat's shadows well. The Baron Swamp is where the scrap puppets are discarded because it's composed of swamps and ravines. It was a part of the city's development in the past. It was briefly, coal, briefly a coal mine, but was soon forgotten because of the Ergo discovery. Later, a few strides of factory business, businesses concerned about scrap puppets began to dispose of them illegally here, turning the swamp into what it is now. A swamp full of discarded puppets and corrupted animals, it's crotch grave itself. Luckily, the city announced that they'll turn the Baron Swamp into a park with the exhibition just around the corner, so we're seeing some hope here. Is it a living grave of hell? How about seeing this kind of place with your own eyes before anything's developed? Good or bad, an experience, an experience. Rating two and a half out of five. An attraction for those who want to see Crotch Shadow. Long, boost are a Long boots are a must. This guide was made with support from Vanini Company, a friend of the city. Okay. Ah, oh, sick! A Stargazer! Uh, we will go listen to the new record at the end of the episode, is what we'll do. So, we'll hopefully, we'll go about 20 minutes, do some exploration, then go listen to this new record. Uh, okay, there's no easy way to say this, but it's a public graveyard. That's fine. Humans call it an illegal dumping site. The city tried to stop it, but eventually had much bigger concerns. Grand exhibition Olympics Because you're uh, an asshole and you are my conscience. Oh man, this weapon makes this enemy so easy. Remember how much trouble I had with this enemy earlier on in the playthrough? Look at that. Look at how easy that was. Sick. We're gonna avoid this fire. I'm assuming this is- Oh no, it's still there! I thought that was a glitch and the animation just stayed. Nope, it's still there. What is this? Oh, that's an actual attack. Why did I think that wasn't an attack? All right, there. All right, I don't have, all right, we're just gonna shoot you. Yeah, I could use the puppet string to bring you. <laughs> All right, you're dead. Are you just gonna let yourself burn to death? I'll put you out of your misery, I guess. I'll have to look at my, uh, I need to upgrade capacity, I think, before I start changing, like, that stuff. What is, uh, everything goes up, acid goes down, fire goes down, everything else goes up. Can I roll fine with that? Sure. Don't like that. 
Okay, rude. I'm assuming this does corruption damage. Yep. Does it just explode on contact after a certain distance? I didn't know that. Oh, I did not know that. Sick. That's actually really cool. That's good to know. Please tell me it's not another one of those clowns. Oh, okay. Better give me another quartz. Ali no, I'll take a Legion Caliber. I'll take a Legion Caliber. I would like to upgrade my gun. Right now, the issue is I don't know if corruption is damage over time or insta death, and I want that item over there. Oh, yeah, no, that's gonna build up way too quick. Is this a safe spot? No, it is not. Right, I don't know if corruption is insta death or not, so we're not gonna risk that. I don't know what that item is. It might be something I don't even use. Hi. There's hopefully an item some or uh, something. Like a switch or something that'll let me uh, burn away that later. I hear something moving. Okay, you're a bitch. Oh, well, missed that. I mistimed that block attack.
Oh, I gotta do so much again. Alright, we're just gonna run for it. Okay, that's bullshit, but okay. If you guys could not... I think that just got caught in the, uh, the thing. item all the way down there. Oh, I think I had to go around to that. Alright, sick. I love fighting enemies in narrow corridors. Alright, we need to go up first. Fight these dudes with the guns. You're kidding me. I love losing fights because I get stuck on a wall. It makes me happy. Makes me happier than everything, everything. Gun! I don't know what's up here. Hi. What does this do for me? Okay. Does that lead me back to the uh the thingamagoo? Is that a short back to the stargazer? Shortcut back to the stargazer? There's someone standing there, so I don't like that. It is Shark, I'm back to Stargazer. All right. But we have a couple things to check out before we go that way. And whoever that is, just standing over there like a creep. No. Okay, yeah, uh, swinging backwards was a was a choice. Oh my god. I honestly don't even know how many air go I just lost. I'm so mad that just happened. I don't care about the ergo, I care about my dignity, that I don't have much of left. Uh, 
All right, real quick, what's up here? I broke his guard, and I didn't follow up. Oh, now I broke his weapon. Wow, that was easier than I thought it would be. Granted, I shot him four times first. Recharged amulet. Restores HP continuously. Oh. I need that fourth amulet slot. I don't know how much HP, but I could always just chill in the corner or run away from a boss for long enough. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yep, love, love taking damage because I get hit on walls. Where are you at? Come here. Finally, we've taken care of that. And now we can go back to the Stargazer. All right, well, progress has been made. We got a cool new amulet. We just need to get enough quartz to upgrade our new amulet slots. Let's go listen to this, uh, this record. We'll call it an episode. Don't you dare fall. Bam, we knocked the thing down here. Everything's Gucci, goody gumdrops. So our next place to go is down here to whoever that is. Whether they're a friend or foe is, remains to be seen. We're gonna go listen to this new record. Get a feel of the vibe. Get some humanity. Oh, look at that. We have a glove to turn in. Oh wait, he, Alidoro's. Oh, is that Alidoro? Wait, never mind. Screw listening to the record. It is Alidoro. The terms of the bargain. Almost intolerable. <clears throat> How do you do? It's quite odd that we should meet in a place like this. Oh, don't pretend surprised that I got here before you. After all, I can elude the darkest monsters, the loftiest beings. Sure. In fairness, I do benefit from your prowess as well. I shall tell you something since we're nearly peers. They say a terrible monster lives on the cliff at the end of the swamp. It behaves like a crow, gathering shiny things. I have absconded with treasures from its lair. Rare parts and weapons worthy of a hero. Now catch your interest? No. If you're hunting ergo monsters, 
You might put that friendly tip to use. You're a worthy hunter, and it is worthy prey. Show that swamp monster what you're capable of. Oh, so you can steal its stuff? Hunter, and it is... Here, I have a glove for you. A gift for a rescuer. From a technician girl. Hmm, I don't remember. I've saved so many of the common people. Anyway. The cute one from the hotel. Oh. Oh dear. These gloves are a mess. They don't even fit. Is this a practical joke? <sighs> My god, I never did like that girl. She's just like him. Oh. <laughs> never mind. I thought you had better taste than this. How disappointing. Get these rags out of my sight. Okay, rude. You're a worthy hunter. Rude. Reborn champions. There we go. That looks so cool. B technique, uh, B motivity, C technique. 167 plus 142. Increases physical damage upon a successful attack. Oh. Ooh. What's oh oh we have to get the weapon. It go so it's weaker by seventy seven points. Oh it swings so slow. Oh it's because I'm overweight now. All right let's switch out increased ergo for weight up. It still swings very slow. What does that do? Does that increase damage? Liberate. Damage reduction. Uh, liberate. Releases your weapon. Increase attack speed. Wait, hold on a second. Okay, so it's increased attack speed, but it's not by much. Let's waste these. We'll have to see how much damage it does once upgraded. I think I just wasted an ergo opportunity to get the other thing. All right, we're gonna go over time a little bit. Let's go talk to Eugenia. Since she's, uh, since the glove was rejected. And we can see if we can upgrade the sword though. I'll be back to you in a second. Hey, about my request last time. Did you give Alidoro the gloves? Yes, and he hated them. Yeah. Even the union's advancement test didn't make me this nervous. All right, I'm ready. Tell me the truth. Did the gloves make Alidoro happy? Yes, they did. He loved them. He loved really? them. What a relief. I'm confident in my weapons, but it was my first time making gloves, so I was a little nervous. Okay, more than a little. Gloves seemed a logical gift because I know he lost a finger. I was there, after all. When the workshop tower collapsed, the hound lost a finger saved. Aww. Oh, now I feel bad for lying. Death trapped under the rubble if it wasn't for the hound's sacrifice back then. Did you eat his finger? I I don't want to think about it, and yet I can't forget it. I will never repay that sacrifice, even if I spend my whole life trying, but I'm going to start now. Thanks. I was too shy to give such a gift to him myself. Speaking of gifts, I got something for you. Take it with my thanks. Some fire brace of sweet. All right. I need another Dark Moonstone of the Covenant. So I'm at 240. So I'm at total 240 damage, 273 damage. But what's the bonus? So the so if I go back to my regular weapon, uh, my regular weapon does about 41 more damage, but it has less pulse charge cell and less fable charge. That's also because it has the technique uh, crank on the handle. 
We're gonna try this weapon out in the next episode. Let's see if we can, uh... Seems like we need more capacity, though. But we're gonna try and get motivity up to... Alright, we can't. We're gonna try and get motivity up to 20 before we move up past capacity up to 25. Alright. Next episode, we're gonna do more exploring into the barren swamp. And we're gonna play around with this cool looking sword made out of Victor's guts. I think that's what we used. Could have been his ergo, might have been his guts. We don't know for sure, even though we do know, but shut up. I choose to use his intestines and guts to bathe the sword in ergo. But that's gonna do it for this episode. In the next one, we'll uh, go past Elodoro, we'll fight some people, we'll have some fun. Uh, I like how the sword doesn't glow until I use the uh, the ability. Or at least until I have some Fable Charge. For now, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Be good people and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.